Hey guys, Deronda here with Foods 101. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make these cheesy grits. Don't let this intimidate you. Very simple and easy to do. The ingredients you're gonna need is four cups of chicken broth. This is a low sodium chicken broth that you may substitute with vegetable broth. One cup of your quick five minute grits. Don't use instant grits. 1 4th teaspoon of salt, 2 large garlic cloves that I've minced. This is optional, but it gives these cheesy grits tremendous flavor. 2 tablespoons of butter. It can be salted or unsalted. 2 large eggs. 1 8 ounce block of your chart cheddar cheese. I go ahead and grate it myself because if you buy the cheese already grated in that bag, it has a lot of starch on it and it's not going to give these grits that fabulous creamy texture you're looking for. And just to kick it up another notch, I'm going to add one or two drops of this hot sauce. This is also optional and I'm going to leave that up to you as well. Let me show you how simple and easy this is to get together. In a 2.5 quart saucepan over medium high heat, we're going to add the butter. Push it around here in the bottom of your pan. We're going to add the garlic. Cook this for about 30 seconds. You want to be sure not to burn the garlic. Mmm, that smells so fabulous. Add that 4 teaspoon of salt if you're using it. And again, that salt is optional. Add, I'm using a broth all at once. And we're going to bring this to a boil. Once your water comes to a boil, add your grits. Cook this for five minutes on low. Be sure you stir it around so you don't have any lumps in here. Cover and cook for five minutes. While the grits are cooking, I'm lightly greasing a nine by nine inch baking dish or you can use a one and a half quart baking dish. Sit this off to the side. In another bowl, I'm adding my two large eggs with a couple of drops of that hot sauce. Okay, maybe a few. That is optional, you know. With a fork, we're gonna whisk these two ingredients around. Let's check on our grits. And that looks perfect. And at this point, you want your oven preheated to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. Before we add our eggs, we're gonna temper it with a little bit of our grits because we don't want our eggs scrambling in the grits. You want it that pale yellow before you add it to the grits. That way you know your eggs are really well mixed. And we're going to stir it in just like this. All right, make sure you get it all out of your bowl there. Keep stirring it around until you get your eggs well incorporated into your grits. And then at this point, we can start adding handfuls of cheese at a time. We're wanting it to melt before we add it to our baking dish. Always recommend you grade your own cheese when baking and cooking if you want a rich, creamy texture on your food. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be so delicious and I can smell that garlic. And by the way, that garlic is optional. I'm gonna leave that up to you whether you wanna add it or not. Now, this is ready for its prepared baking dish. Add it all at once. Be sure to scrape it out of your pan so you can get it all into your baking dish. That looks fabulous. Give it a little jiggle, a little tap to settle down any air bubbles. And this is off to that preheated oven on the middle rack. For the next 45 minutes, use your timer and no peeking. Cheesy grits. Look at them sizzling. Oh, and it smells so good. We're going to let this cool down for about 15 minutes before serving. Taste time for these cheesy grits. I can see they're going to be so lovely and creamy. Oh yeah, they're still super warm. Got to give these a try. Look at that cheesy, how creamy it is. They're cheesy, loaded with garlic flavor, and just perfect with eggs over easy, sausage, bacon, or just all by themselves. Wow. And look how much it makes. I'm Deronda with Foods 101. Give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Hit that notification bell to be the first to get my new YouTube food videos. Thanks a million for watching. And I'll catch you lovely people later. Mm -hmm.